Hi, and welcome to the Bouncing Act Atlanta edition. I'm Monta Williams. We're bringing you community stories and introducing you to businesses and people who are making a difference. So let's see who's making a difference right here in your neighborhood. Coming up on today's show, see how Essential Staffing Solutions is tackling a temporary job problem in a permanent way. Take a peek behind the curtain and see how NeuroTour keeps actors healthy, happy, and on stage. Find out what total home protection means to the dedicated folks at Singo. Brighten your day with the gorgeous blooms from Gems. And Chef Ryan Stanley shows us how to elevate your tacos, plus much more. The staffing and recruitment world has changed dramatically recently. Our next story shows how some industry innovators are helping to tackle the new normal. Perhaps there's never been a more trying time when it comes to searching for a new opportunity. Record high unemployment rates across the country, not to mention locally, have contributed to a highly competitive and unforgiving job market. With many years of experience in helping team members audition the right opportunity, Essential Staffing Solutions is a staffing agency that defies the term temp with a uniquely permanent approach. So I started Essential Staffing Solutions um, because I started off in my industry in property management as a temporary employee. Uh, my name wasn't Shelly, it was Temp. You know, go tell the temp to do this, go tell the temp to do that. Um, so I understood how it felt to not have a name. No one knew who Shelly was. Um, no one appreciated Shelly when even when I accomplished things. So I wanted to start something where people could feel they could still get opportunities. We could develop those relationships and give them opportunities, but then they also felt like they had a home. One of the biggest biases that staffing agencies face is that candidates think, you know, you're just here, you're just a temp. We really do generally want to help you find opportunities. And what we've done is we've created an agency that truly cares about our people. And we show that to them on a day-to-day -day basis. We know their names, we, we communicate with them. They're not just a, a number to us. To ensure every opportunity is a good fit, Essential Staffing Solutions takes the time to evaluate the team member during the recruiting process. So when a new ESS team member comes through, um, they come through as a candidate, one thing we do is we pre-screen them um, just to get a feel of who they are. We do review the resumes, um, but there's a lot of experience that you don't see on resumes. So we have that conversation with them. Uh, once they get through the interview process, then we set them up for orientation. And our orientation process is to align everyone with, our, with the same belief, uh, with our same values that we have. We first take the availability and we find out when everybody is available to work. So we can get them on the job site as soon as possible. Next, we will talk about the mission statement and our purpose. We speak on professionalism and what you should do on the job site no matter what. Uh, orientation is usually conducted by myself, which I absolutely love getting to know the team members during orientation. Um, it's very interactive. It's so crazy the way she does it. Like she could connect to other people different than like different than anybody like she connects like you're getting to know a family member you never had i've always worked in corporate america where i think sometimes you get lost shelly being the owner being able to communicate with her because most big corporations you get to see the vip the ceo but you never get to have that connection with them she reaches your soul so you spend a lot of time with us during this whole interview process this whole hiring process Essential Staffing Solutions goes well beyond a candidate and team member's qualifications and training, taking things into consideration that most agencies would overlook. So one of the things that we try and do is to make sure that the commute is going to be something feasible for them, mainly just trying to keep them close to their home. Also, that it's just going to be a good match overall with our clients. One of the ways that we stay committed to our team members is through feedback. We had a young lady on our team and, and she didn't understand why, you know, jobs were ending and things of that nature. And we provided her with feedback and she actually made a change. It wasn't us, she made the change. The last property that she was at with us, they actually brought a contract out, but she's doing very, very well. 
We're looking for someone that has a very humble attitude, has the right skill set. We want someone that will do the right thing when nobody else is looking. We're looking for that professional. And if that's you, call us today, because <laughs> we need you. <laughs> To learn more about the opportunities and services offered by Essential Staffing Solutions, visit eSolutionsPM.com. And of course, you can check out TheBalancingAct.com. Take a look at what's coming up next. There's nothing quite like it. Live theater is a thrill like no other. Performing live is rigorous and unforgiving. It's easy to forget how much these performers give to each and every performance. I've been performing professionally for about 15 years now, um, but I moved to New York City five years ago to chase my dreams of singing and dancing on Broadway. I'm now on my eighth Broadway show. While it's the most magical and fulfilling profession in the world, it's so, so taxing on your body. Luckily, there are specially trained and highly sought after professionals ready to help. Neurotour is the global leader in entertainment and performing arts medicine. Um, it was back in 2000 here in Atlanta when a general manager contacted me regarding a Broadway musical that was on tour and they were having um, a large number of injuries and in jeopardy of losing their work comp carrier and within about a week we had my first physical therapist out on tour and immediately they saw a reduction in injuries. As a doctor of physical therapy and a certified athletic trainer the biggest misconception I see with surrounding the Broadway and performing industry is that they're just entertainers or performers or dancers, where in reality, they are professional athletes. So they make everything look easy. Eight to nine shows a week, three hour shows, with one day off a week, with no off seasons. I think saying that the physical therapist in any theater um, being the most popular and crucial person in the building is a severe understatement. <laughs> so shortly after the success of our first tour, we realized that there was a real need for the service we were offering. So I started pounding the pavement, going to New York, meeting with producers and general managers. We had the really good fortune of working with production companies like Disney Theatrical, Baseline Theatrical, Charlotte Wilcox Company, and Troika Entertainment, to name a few. They were really investing in the health, the well-being, the longevity of their cast, their performers, their crew. After that, just kind of realized that our services shouldn't be limited to musical theater and that's how we launched our, our first concert tour. So that brings us to today, where we have a international, a global presence. We are traveling with shows like Cats in South Korea. Um, we've been to Kuwait. We've been to all over Europe with concert artists, with musical theater. Neurotours doesn't just specialize in health for live theater performers. Concert, film, TV, and streaming content production keeps the staff busy, making sure the health and well-being of actors and stunt people are expertly cared for. So we've really been fortunate now to cross over from live entertainment into the film industry. Where we're offering our services of injury prevention and management to actors and actresses and their stunt performers. Up front, it can be a cost to have us there, but in the long run, it really does reduce the number of injuries. And in that, it saves the producers money. They don't have to pay for someone to be out on a work comp claim injury. And even on an extreme case, if there are too many injuries or even in a concert where the, the lead artist is injured, they're gonna have to potentially cancel a show, which could be catastrophic in every facet. So I think what's really unique about Neurotour and our therapists is that we have multiple certifications. We are active release technique certified. We do dry needling. We do cupping. We do instrument assisted soft tissue. We practice poultice massage, vocal massage. We're CrossFit certified. We're Pilates and certified instructors. So if we've done our job right, then that performer can focus on their relationship with the audience rather than any physical constraints or limitations they may have. It, it, having someone backstage full time 
it is a huge weight off of your shoulders. You know, our job is to go on stage and give 100%. These people are paying a lot of money. I think the benefit of having a PT there full time is that we know the show intimately. So if someone comes off stage, I know the move they've done. I know the potential injury effects and I don't have to suss it out as much. We can get them on the table and immediately start treating. Neurotour has in many ways changed my life. They help maintain your strength, flexibility, and I really feel so spoiled to have worked with Neurotour in over half of my Broadway shows. The producers are happy, the actors are happy, and the show goes on. To learn more about the outstanding care and health services offered by Neurotour, visit neurotour.com or thebalancingact.com. You know, we all hope our homes are as safe as they can possibly be. Is yours? Check this out. Home sweet home. It's the center of your world. Shouldn't you want to protect it? A leader in home protection services with over 45 years in the business, Singo offers a total protection program designed to keep you, your family, and your investment safe. Whether you're looking for your dream home, been living in it for years, or just signed the dotted line to purchase a place to finally call your own. So our company was founded uh, by my father in a rural Georgia town in 1974. Our mission is to protect homeowners from harm and hassle. Traditionally, that meant just pest prevention services. But what we learned over you know, those 45 years is that that would work for other home services as well. Once we made that focus, we were able to find other services that we could provide that would live that mission of protecting homeowners from harm and hassle. For new homeowners, Singo removes the anxiety of moving into a home that has not been properly inspected. We are one of the largest home inspection companies in the country now, and we provide that insight into the home that occurs after they've decided to purchase the home, but before due diligence has closed. A home is, is often the single largest investment that a person makes in their lifetime. And it's one of the only scenarios that we have agreed to pay a price for something that we don't really yet know everything about. There are things that only a trained eye can determine in terms of age, upkeep, maintenance. You gotta have somebody by your side to help you understand, are you doing the right thing here? Are you making the right investment? Is this a good decision for you and for your family? So the way we perform home inspections at Singo is we've got fully trained uh, professionals that average at least 17 years of uh, experience on the job. And we have a, a process that we have honed over the last 35 years that breaks the house down system by system. So from the HVAC to the plumbing to the electrical, et cetera, the homeowner takes a in-person walkthrough with our inspector to identify any of the major issues that the, may have been noted by the inspector. The process is concluded by compiling all of that information into a formal report, which is then provided to the homeowner. If they decide to move forward with the purchase of that home and they move to closing and they're gonna move in, we take that knowledge um, and we leverage that knowledge later on. From the perspective of the home buyer, after closing, it can be a little bit of a frustrating scenario because here you've got the home inspector, that's the foremost expert on that particular property, and the relationship is over. With Singo, the relationship isn't over. Now we know about the home in a way that really can support um, offering the protective services that the customer needs for that home. Singo's one-of-a-kind program takes home protection one step further, protecting from fire ants to fires and keeping out pests and prowlers. So earlier this year, Singo launched our home security offering. Included in our plan is 24-7 monitoring of fire, smoke, and carbon monoxide. We also have an app which you can control while you're away from your home. Our system is also compatible with other home automation products that are Z-Wave capable, such as garage door openers, smart locks, video doorbells, etc. Singo relies on transparency above all else, priding themselves on personal connections. One of Singo's commitments to our customers is a familiar face. Whether it is pest prevention or home security, the homeowner will always know who is arriving at their home. Before our visit, we're gonna always send a picture of who's going to be at the home. 
The other thing that we do that's, I think, different than a lot of home service providers is that we only send one person. We've trained them to do multiple services. There's not going to be in any given month a long line of different technicians coming to the home at different times of the day. That particular service professional knows your home better than anyone else. They're familiar with the ins and outs of it. They know what's going on before you even do. For example, if you've got a low battery in your smoke detector, that's gonna send the notification to us. And the next time we're out there on a pest control visit, we can say, look, Mrs. Jones, we need to actually change the, the, the battery in your smoke detector on your second floor because we got a notification that it was out. Singo in Latin means to surround and secure or to protect. For years, that meant pest prevention. But today, Singo's protection offering is one that is unique and not offered by any other company. What it all comes down to is the service and the value that we're providing to our, our clients. And that's why we're committed to protecting homes and the people who live there. To learn more about the total home protection offered by Singo, visit singohome.com or check out thebalancingact.com. They could be used to express every imaginable sentiment, and their meaning have fascinated people for centuries. So this morning, we're going to brighten up your day with gorgeous blooms. Let me take a look at our set. It smells. It looks beautiful. And joining me this morning is the master. He's here to talk everything flowers, Carlos Oramas, co-founder and CEO of GEMS. Welcome. Thank you. Thrilled to be here. I, yeah, I'm happy. This makes me happy. Yeah, me too. And that's the, that's the meaning of flowers, absolutely, right? Absolutely, absolutely. What's the, what I love about your company, I know the motto, and tell me if I'm saying it correctly, but I think it's flowers for everyday life. You got it. What's the meaning behind that? Well, you know how flowers have always been for special occasions, right? Valentine's Day, Mother's, Mother's Day, Day, your wedding. So we believe that flowers make sense in everyday occasions, and mm. here's why. Flowers help us express how we feel. They are gestures of human emotion. And in the course of your everyday life, I'm sure there are people you want to appreciate, to thank, to be kind to, to be proud of, to show that you love. In fact, I bet that the home that you share with your family, you love. I do. And you want to gesture that also with, with expressions of feelings and emotions. And I'm always telling my husband, listen, Jose, I mean, I know you're going to get me flowers for Valentine's and Mother's Day, but I don't want the flowers then. Yeah. I, I tell him, I want you to give me flowers because, because you just want to, just because. Yeah. But not because you have to, because yeah. it's a special day. Funny you say just because. Nine out of ten women will tell you that the number one reason to give flowers is just because. All right, let's talk about these gorgeous flowers. Okay. Tell me first what we have here. These is are it? simple, but pretty. They are. Tw they're called tremulia. They last 21 days. Really cool because most flowers won't last long. This one lasts three weeks. Three weeks in your house. Clean water. It's all you got to do. Cut them and put them in there, and they'll give you three weeks of great life. I see. I have them here behind me. These are so Aren't great. Aren't they wonderful? And like something like this would cost what? Yeah, about four bucks or so. Four yeah. bucks. Yeah, very Cheaper affordable. than even a, a little thank you card. At your local grocery store, you can find flowers that are as affordable as $4, and go up from there depending on the size you want. But they're convenient, they're affordable, and they're available every day. Can you imagine handing that to your neighbor? just saying I was thinking of you, they'd be so happy. And that's exactly what we should be doing, right? Showing appreciation to neighbors. How many of us have good neighbors to yes. look after, especially after the summer months? We're going on vacation and whatnot. My neighbor has always been someone that I appreciate. Absolutely beautiful. I love these. Okay, this color here is stunning. Look at the purple, the orange, the yellow. I mean, this is gorgeous. Isn't it? And that's what we wanted it to be. This is inspired by Hispanic culture. You know, suck the whole energy out of life. Because we're colorful everything. and we're loud. We are colorful and we are loud. <laughs> and it's called Pura Vida. Pura Vida. And, uh, Translate that for our viewers uh, out there. It means the good life, good okay. living. And so it comes in bouquets and in, in an arrangement much like this. And it really is for parties and celebrations and feeling good. And that's what all that's about. Okay, these little bags are just darling. They are, and they're meant to be that way. They're called smile bags, and it's supposed to be easy to pick up and go and deliver it to somebody, take it to a hospital or a friend. Your mom, pick it up for yourself. Bring it home. Put it on your dining room table. But that's the outcome, a smile. And that's what we called it, smile bags. That's a great they're idea. They're cute, aren't they? Yeah. And those down there, that has my eye right now. Yeah, mine too. Those are called hat boxes. And that's, that's coming right out of the design of a hat box. We put flowers right in it. It's a little bit more trendy. Put them in your, in your dining room or anywhere in your house. Great centerpiece. And look at the difference it makes just by looking at it. Yeah, well, that's what flowers do. Where do these uh, flowers come from, Carlos? So these are grown in Colombia and South America because we put them up high in the Andes Mountains where it's much cooler with a lot of sunlight and we're able to grow them year-round. All right. Flow and them right, fly them right into Miami, too. Something I also always say is, I mean, again, 4 to $5. Mm -hmm. I think it just brings up the emotion. It brings up the happiness. I just think it, the wellness and the mood of the individual. And that's another, There's something to be said. And there absolutely is. And that's another part of flowers that we don't talk about enough. And that's that they help you live better. There have been great studies done on this. And Harvard and, and Rutgers have both led on it, where they reveal that flowers increase the senses of happiness and of compassion and of kindness. They also lower anxiety and negativity and depression. They make us neater, more energetic, and creative. There you go. And they make you smile and they make you be happy. Yeah. Your company, I know, is the GEMS Group. What does GEMS stand for? Giving everyone more smiles. 
giving everybody more smiles. Well, that's what flowers do, so that's right oh, down our alley. Well, that's nice. Yeah. So next time maybe you're going to school or maybe your boss or, or even just your neighbor, Grab a little, you know what, I'm going to grab it right now. Because or my mom yourself. has been a little bit, I don't know, she's been a little bit down in the dumps lately. So something like this little bag right here, I can imagine, she'll be so happy. What does something like this run? Oh, less than $20. Less than $20, yeah. and what a difference. Okay, so I'm taking this one for me and this one for my mom. I think you made some good choices there. There you You're go. You're going to be smiling for a while. All right, so for anyone out there who says, I want these flowers right now for my husband, my daughter, my best friend, whoever, where can they find them? Well, pretty much at any grocery store across the country, we work with all the leading ones. Uh, but for more information, go to balanceandblooms.com and you'll find everything there. And I just have to read this real quick. Look how they even have on the bag. It says smile. It's a noun. We all know it's a noun. A pleased, kind, or amused facial expression, typically with the corners of the mouth turned up and the front teeth exposed. Oh, that's so sweet, Carlos. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much Good. for your time. Curiosity, you. um, is the rose still the favorite? It's popular, but there's a lot of good ones. And I always tell my friends, try different flowers, buy a mixed bouquet, put them in different parts of the house, enjoy them all. Oh, I love La Rosa. La Rosa. La Rosa. <laughs> Thank you so much. My pleasure. You and bet. for our viewers, if you'd like more information on these beautiful flowers, flowers for everyday life, go to thebalancingact.com. This is so cool. Well, let's check in with Ryan Stanley. You know, Ryan and I go way back on Military Makeover. He's always transforming our homes for our veterans. But what you might not know about him is that he's a trained executive chef. So Ryan, what quick and easy family meal are you working on today? Thanks, Motel. Hey, let me tell you, I'm as equally comfortable in the kitchen as I am on the construction site. But a lot of people don't know, I was a trained executive chef for quite a while. So I'm gonna bring some of those skills into your home today. We're gonna take the everyday boring meal like tacos. Who doesn't like tacos? Everybody loves tacos, but we're gonna elevate it in what I call semi-homemade. What does that mean? We're gonna take everyday items you can find at the grocery store, like these taco shells, taco seasoning mix, and we're gonna use them to elevate the dinner a little bit. So the first thing that we're gonna do is gather all the ingredients. We have a bunch of fresh vegetables and everything here. Today, really, really important, wash your vegetables. You don't know who's been touching them and they've coughed over them. Make sure you wash your hands properly, rinse them under cold water for at least a good minute and that's gonna get any bacteria and germs off. Now we're gonna start with our sauce actually because we want the flavors to marinate. We have about a cup of sour cream here. We need some fresh lime and some salt and pepper. This is called a microplaner. It's like a grater, except it's very, very small. All you simply want to do is just rub the lime down on there. That's going to give you that nice lime and lemon or orange flavor without the bitterness or sourness of the juice or the rind. Now, take our sour cream, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. We want to put our lime zest in there. And we also want the juice of about one lime. Boom, just like that. That's it, set that aside. All right, so now we've prepped our green peppers, tomatoes, and onions. Next thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna combine these a little bit in a bowl, almost like a pica de gallo. We wanna add everything together, some salt and pepper. And then we wanna add some lime juice, just to make it that much fresher, give it a little bit more of acidity. Give that a good stir and just set it aside. All right, so now I promised you we're gonna upscale this recipe instead of just ground hamburger, turkey, or chicken. We're gonna get fancy here, folks. We got some shrimp, which I just bought the frozen shrimp in the shell. You just thaw them out, peel the tails and the, and, and the shells off. And we got some steak here. I got some New York strips. First, we're gonna start with the shrimp. Real, real easy, hot pan, some oil, just gonna throw some shrimp in there. But because we wanna keep it authentic with the flavor, we're gonna use the same taco seasoning that you would buy for the hamburger, and we're gonna add that directly to the shrimp. I'm just gonna give those a good stir. So the nice thing about shrimp, not only do they taste amazing, they cook really, really fast. Usually about three to five minutes, depending on the heat of your pan is all that it takes. Once they turn nice and white, you know they're done. Transfer them to a bowl. All right, so now we're gonna cook our steak. Now there's a couple keys to doing this correctly. One, have a nice hot pan. So go ahead and put that in medium high heat and get it nice and hot. And then once again, just use the taco seasoning that came in with your kit. In the pan with some oil, 
make sure it's nice and hot. In the pan we go. All right, hear that nice sizzle, that's what we're looking for. I like to use romaine lettuce because it's really easy to use. It's got a really nice flavor, it looks awesome. With our tacos, I like to use more of a whole leaf so that it just kind of lays in, it doesn't fall over the place. With the salad, I like to chop it up. The other thing you want to do is if you're going to use some taco shells, now you can just use them fresh out of the box, there's no problem with that, or you can heat them up in the oven, just follow the directions on the box. All right, so now we're all set up to assemble our tacos. I like to take the whole lettuce leaf, just kind of set that in there like that. Less mess to get on you. I'm gonna take a little bit of a three cheese Mexican blend, set those in there just like that. I'm gonna take some of our beautifully cooked shrimp. We're gonna take some of our fresh cut onions, green peppers, and tomatoes. Just put that on there. And then to top it all off, some of this beautiful lime sour cream. Just put a little dollop on the top for freshness some cilantro. Beautiful shrimp tacos. Look how good those look. And not only that, the flavors are fresh and amazing. Something out of the ordinary, out of ordinary stuff in the house. All right, so now we're just gonna assemble our steak salad. Remember, it is a salad, so you can be generous with the lettuce, just like that. Now, for some color and some crunch, we're gonna take some of our taco shells just go ahead and break them up, crush them over the top. Let's add some of our beautiful pico de gallo. I like to put the cheese under the meat because the meat is still hot. So when you set the meat on top, it's going to melt the cheese. I'm going to add some of these beautiful strips of steak, just like that. And then some nice, fresh lime sour cream. And you know what, why not? I love me some salsa. We're gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of salsa on the outside. Look at that, how fresh, how amazing. Hey, I don't know what you're having. I'm having surf and turf tacos. I really hope you enjoyed it. This is a nice way to elevate those ordinary meals into something extraordinary. Look more on the website for these recipes and more. Thank you for watching. Thanks so much for joining us on this local edition of The Bouncing Act. We'll see you next time.